The question for this section is what is poetry? Well, poetry is many things. One thing that can be said about poetry is that it is universal and been with humans throughout time. Poetry has what you would call sticking power. It is hard to define something that can take so many forms, but a definition could be said to be that poetry is a form of prose in which the author tries to state observations and emotions that would otherwise be impossible to explain in another way. Poetry is not just words thrown together on a page without reason. Poetry is not just following rules and terms like simile and metaphor. Poetry is conveying that which would otherwise remain unspoken and therefore not understood. In this section, we are going to focus on two basic ideas, the two major forms of poetry and speaker in poetry. First, let's go over the two major forms of poetry, formal verse and free verse. Poetry throughout time has been written in these two large categories, formal verse, which has rules, and free verse, which does not. Formal verse poetry is what most people think of when they hear the word poetry. Formal verse is poetry which has a specific pattern to which the poet adheres. For example, a sonnet, which is a type of formal verse, has 14 lines. Every line has to be a specific number of beats, and there is a pattern to which lines must rhyme. Formal poetry usually has rhyme, rhythm, and meter. Formal poetry has some aspect of being predictable. The listener can predict which lines will rhyme, how the beat of the poem will work, and even perhaps what the subject matter will be. Roses are red, violets are blue, I love poetry and so do you, is an example of formal poetry, although not a very impressive poem. The next major category of poetry is free verse poetry. Strictly speaking, free verse poetry is the opposite of formal verse. There is not strict or set pattern in free verse. Free verse poems do not have to be a certain length or a certain number of lines, or have a pattern of rhyme or rhythm. Free verse poems don't even have to have any rhyme or rhythm. Free verse poems are meant to sound more like regular speech patterns, and they can really take any form that they want. Free verse is a more modern aspect of poetry. Our next area to cover in this video is speaker in poetry. The speaker in a poem is the person who is saying the poem. In fiction, we call this person the narrator, and in poetry, it is called the speaker. While reading poetry, you need to think that the speaker could be the poet, or it could be a fictional person, just like how a narrator could be a fictional person. It might be a character in the poem, and it might not be. The speaker can also be very general and just be a normal person that's generalized, or it may be a very specific identity. However, do not be confused and think that the poet is always the speaker of the poem. Just as authors write narrators in fiction that are not the authors themselves, poetry have, has speakers that aren't always the poet. In order to understand the poem, you need to understand who the speaker is. In order to do this, think about who the speaker is analyze their conflict, and then analyze their motivation or what makes them tick as a person. So remember with speaker in poetry that it is the person who says the poem, is maybe the poet, is maybe fictional, may share similarities with the author, and has conflict and motivation.